Hello and welcome to or welcome back to Kentucky Farms Mapping. Today on the map we're going to finish up the nav mesh for the horses on farm two. We're going to add some fencing and show you one way that you can put the fence in, kind of an easy way to do it. So hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. back in our file system here and back in our map mod so what we need to do is we need to get into the placeables xml file so if we come down here in maps okay in our maps folder there was a placeables folder we don't want that anymore we want to go to maps map us and we want to find the placeables XML, which is right here. We're going to open this with Notepad++, and we need to plug some information in here. Now, the reason that we're doing this is whenever we load our map, what's going to happen is it's going to load everything that's in this placeables folder. Okay, We're going to load all of that into the map. We don't really even have to have our mod that we modified in the map file in Giants Editor. Okay, I'm going to show you how we can keep it in there and explain to you why we'll do that, but we really, you really don't even have to have that. What it will do is it will actually load a copy of it right from the XML file, which helps make your map folder, or I'm sorry, your map file size smaller. Okay, it won't let it get so big. So there's a bunch of other stuff that I have in here now, a bunch of stuff I'll get rid of before the map is released, but there's some other things uh, that are in here. We need, we'll need to, I will need to clean this up before long. Okay, so first thing we need to do is figure out what we want to put in here. Well, we could write the entire code for this if you want, okay? I don't want to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the code that's already in the mod and use it in our placeables XML file. In order to do that, what we need to do is place the original mod in a map, extract that information that's saved when we save the game, and then we can use it in... Uh, our XML file. So let me get this open. I'll show you how you can do that. So now what we're going to do is insert the original mod into a map, save it, extract the information that we need from the save file, place it into our placeables folder, and that will load uh, the mod that we've created. So in order to do that, you can use any map you want. All we're going to do is just momentarily use it. I use Elm Creek for this stuff, and the reason is I am less likely to mess something up. I don't wanna use, I don't wanna do this in a modded map and then, you know, possibly uh, mess up the modded map, especially the one that I'm working on. So uh, we we'll just wanna take this, and it doesn't matter where we place it. We wanna go to animals, the original, horses, open range horse, I can put it anywhere. I just need to stick it in there. Just there's fine. So we can es escape this, save the game. Okay. And then we will get out and extract that information and plug it into ours. Okay. So under documents right here, we have my games. Farming Simulator 22, and uh, I have the Elm Creek map under Save Game 6. We double click on that, and then you'll notice down at the bottom, close to here, there is a placeables XML file. So we right click on that, and we open it with Notepad++, and 
This is where you can get a little confused. We have our Placeables XML open. We have the Placeables XML from the save game. Make sure that whenever you're switching back and forth, right up here at the top, it tells you which one you're working on. We're on our Frog Creek maps. Okay, and Placeables XML. I was doing something the other day and I wasn't paying attention. I had the placeables open from, uh, by mistake, I had my backup file open. And then whenever I made changes and went into the map to see what had happened, nothing ever worked. And the reason was I was working on the wrong file. I was in the wrong uh, folder. Just double check and make sure. This one is our save game. This one is our map. So we want to go into the save game XML, the one we just created. And down at the very bottom, down here, you'll notice the very last thing right here, EMR, Ranch Set Extension, Open Range Horses, XML. This gives you all of the information that you need to put in your map XML file. Don't select the last placeables here. Whenever you're writing code, everything has an open and a closing bracket. You'll notice if I click on this placeable right here, it's purple. That one's purple. This is the opening statement. This is the closing statement. This is the closing statement for everything that's in this file. The opening statement for this is at the very beginning. Notice that if I come down here and click on, say, husbandry, it shows me where the husbandry area starts and ends. So I want this placeable area. So I want to highlight this stuff right here. Copy it, go back into my placeables. I'm going to give myself a couple of spaces here. Come in here and paste it in there. And then there's our placeable. Now, we can't use it just like it is because we've made some changes as far as directory structures. Uh, we've, we'll have to change where the position is. Uh, we will also have to change where the, mo the mod name, things like that, because it's no longer in this mod. Okay. So normally what I do for the mod, I just use the name of the map because the map is a mod itself. So Frog Creek, you definitely want to make sure that you do not change any of the punctuation in here. The spaces have to stay the same. You have to make sure you use quotes on the front and the back, just like it is there, all of that stuff. And the other thing is, whenever you're copying code and pasting it in here, please make sure that you have uh, permissions from the original modder to modify whatever it is. And again, thanks to Elk Mountain Modding for allowing me to do this. Okay, so our mod directory, this is where our new mod is with the XML file that we have. So we need to change this. If we come back up here, I've done this already, and you can see, like on this is the one of the cow barns that I used. So it's FS22, the map directory, then maps, placeables, and then wherever your XML file is. So we need to do the same thing down here at the bottom. Okay, so it's FS22, the map. Okay, and then, whoops, get rid of the, this. There we go. That is no longer the name of our XML file. Our XML file is actually located inside, sorry, I clicked back too far, located inside our placeables folder and our horse pasture mod. So here in this area right there, okay, it's under maps, placeables, horse pasture mod. So what I've done is I've actually changed the name of the XML file that was in here to match our i3d file. Again, you don't have to do that. I like doing it just so I can keep it separate. So we have the modded open range horses XML file. That's what we need to plug in here. 
So I can just change this to modded. And if you don't use the same case, like capitals and lowercase, you'll get an error message um, that tells you, I believe it's an error message, it may be a warning in your log file that says the cases don't match. Okay, so we're under mod directory FS22 Frog Creek. We have the correct name, but we have one more directory structure we needed to go to. And that one is, okay, under Frog Creek, Maps, Placeables, Horse Pasture Mod. Now we could copy the address, okay, and paste it in here, which is fine. Uh, the thing you need to do whenever you do that, if we copy the address, and I'm just going to place the address down here at the bottom, okay, and there's a reason why, if we paste this. All right, here's our address right here. We don't need any of this, okay? We could get rid of that completely. But right down here, where we have Frog Creek, Maps, Placeables, Horse Pasture Mod. That's what goes in front of our Horse Pastures XML. Notice the difference though. In the XML file, it uses front-facing uh, slashes, where in here, it uses a backslash. So we would need to change those to a front slash. We could change that to a front slash, change that one to a front slash. You get the idea. Okay, so you absolutely can copy and paste that in here. You just need to make sure that if you do that, then you change your slashes. Paste, paste, mod, front slash. So I have Frog Creek, maps, placeables, horse pasture mod. You want to leave the mod DIR in there. Modded open range horses. Okay, need to leave the ID is good. Now we need to change the position and the rotation of it. We do not need the age and we do not need the price. Okay, because it's not, we're not going to purchase it by itself. It's not a mod. Okay, and this is on farm two. Now, do we really need this? Possibly not. I use them anyway. There's some things that, you know, they work okay if you do it one way and they don't work if you do it another way. But believe me, if you find a way that things work, stick with it. Because if you start changing things, you might find out that stuff doesn't work anymore. So I'm just going to leave this the way it is. We're going to save this. And now we need to know what position it goes in and what the rotation angle is. Okay. In order to do that, we need to go back to Giants Editor and plug our uh, modified pasture back into the game, or I'm sorry, back into the map and uh, extract that information and plug it in here. We have Giants Editor open, and now we need to import this modded open range horses i3d file that we created. So we click on that, we hit open, and it is here. And notice that it also brings the nav mesh in. Again, we don't need this in here. Okay, you can leave it if you want, but it's not necessary to have it. So I'm just gonna delete it for now, get rid of it. Okay. What we need to do now is take this and actually put it, place it in our map where it goes, get the right height, right rotation angle, all of that stuff we want. So this is our horse barn small. We hit control B and we're gonna stick it right there, okay? And then we'll, let's rotate it. Can't see. There we go. Now we can rotate it where it goes. All right, so we can rotate it around here. Put it where we want it. We can move it 
if we want to. You want to move a little bit further away from there. Um, let's move it. I want to move it this way a little bit. Like so. Rotate it a little bit more, get it lined up a little. Again, you can be as anal as you want with this. And we're we'll moving away from there a little bit. We just want to make sure we're not in the trees. Doesn't really matter if we are. Okay. And how are we this way? We're not too bad. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit the other way. This is what I mean about being anal with it. I mean, you can just take forever and get it positioned exactly where you want it. There we go. For now, that will work fine. Almost. Sorry. Let me get it back this way just a little bit so we can line up the fences in the front right here. So when we put our fence in, the fence will line up. We don't want to go over the road, which we haven't. We don't want to be in the trees down here, which we're not. That's fine over there. Everything looks good. So that's where we want it. That's the rotation angle and the position, sort of. The thing is, we're high. See, we're, our feeders are off the ground there a little bit. So we're going to go back and modify those some. So we can move that feeder up and down, get it where we want it to go. And again, we can't see it very well. But if we go in here and go to our navigation root node, we can change the visibility of it. And now we can actually see where this is. Okay, so we come in here and make sure that I'm just going to move this down a little bit out of the way. It doesn't really matter what we have here. All right. Horse barn small. And we want to make sure that our make sure that these are pretty close to where we want them. Now we can we can come back and I will do that. Notice this is above the ground a little bit. This is sort of on the ground where we want it. That's a little bit high. We can come back after we get all this stuff done and modify the terrain and make it fit like it should. Okay. But for now, this is good enough where we are. So what we want to do is get this information into the XML file. Before we do that, what I want to explain to you is Okay, we've talked about how the XML file will load this. If we left this where it is in the map right now, it would actually load two copies of it. It would load this copy that's in the map, plus it would load the one from the XML file. We don't want it to do that. There's an, we could actually, once we get the information and extract it from here and put it in the XML file, we could delete this. It doesn't have to be in our map file. But the thing is, if we ever want to come back and modify it, we have to come back and put it in the game and all of that. And I like to see where things are. You know, if you come to work on the map, I want to see this stuff in here. And that's the same with buildings and everything else that you do. So in order for us to be able to see this in the map or in the this map here and not load it into the game, what we can do is we can Cut this from where it is right now in our scene graph. And the way I have it set up, I have a places somewhere. Where are my places? There we go. We have places, farm to, I have what's called a placeholders folder in here. Anything that's in this placeholders folder that we create, Okay, will show up in the map here when you open it in Giants Editor, but it will not show up in the game. All it's going to do is load the XML in the game. 
So we're just going to paste it in here. Okay, it's in here, won't be in the game. Now what we need to do is make sure we're clicked on the horse barn small, right there. Okay, we want to get all of this information from here, to translate and the rotate and plug it into our XML. Now we could do these one at a time, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, or we can do all of the translates and then we can do all of the rotate. So if we put our cursor in the first box, hit shift control C, it will copy all three of those values, the X, Y, and Z. Okay, so now we can go back to our XML file. Again, make sure that we're in the correct placeables, XML. Come in here and where it says position, highlight what's in between the quotations, hit control V, and it plugs the X, Y, and Z value in there. Okay, in the rotation, okay, back to here, rotate X, Y, Z, okay, shift, control, C, back to our placeables, rotation, control V, save it, it's in there. Okay, now we have our name changed. Okay, we have the position changed. We have the rotation changed. We have the farm ID the way it should be. All of this other information in here is uh, necessary in order to load that in the game. So I'm going to clean this up just a little bit, show you a couple other files that you have to modify, and then we'll see how it works in the game. I have three files open here, the placeables XML, the mod description XML for the map, okay, and the modded open range horses XML. Now, where those are located in our file or in our directory structure here under our map, okay, the mod description for the map is located under mods in the base Frog Creek area. What we're gonna use this for is whenever you create a mod or you put something in, in your uh, map, you have to have a store item associated with it. Even though it's not in the store, you still have to have a store item associated with it. There is a store item file, XML file that you could use. I prefer to put it in the mod description file. It just, that way it keeps separate what I put in and what the map puts in itself. Okay, so I put mine in the mod description. It's just a store item that has to be in there. We'll show you where that is. Okay, the other one I have open is the actual XML file that we, re, we renamed earlier. Okay, and that's under maps and placeables and our horse pasture mod, okay? It's this XML file right here. We have that open. We need to make some changes to that, okay? And then the other one I have open is just the placeables XML that we've been working on the whole time. So these three files work together, okay? They read things from each other, uh, kind of back and forth a little bit sometimes. Right now I have the modded open range horses XML open, okay? This is just the name of the mod right here, or the name of the pasture that we have. I'm just gonna do the modded open range horses. Okay, it's just a name, that's all it is, right? So we change that. This is the price, which you don't have to have in there. We could take it out. I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm not gonna, I may go back and clean some of this stuff up a little bit better. This is the function, it functions as a horse, pasture it's a placeable an animal pin so you get the idea of what all of that stuff is you don't have to change any of that stuff you don't have to change anything else here you don't want to change any of these things these are all the triggers and all of that stuff uh, for feeding and uh, buying animals and all that type of thing there what we do need to change is the file name right here because we have changed this Okay, it's no longer the open range horses I3D. It is actually the 
modded one that we have done. So under maps, placeables, okay, horse pasture mod, it is the modded open range horses right here. And again, we need to put the address in here. Okay, again, we don't need all of this stuff. Get rid of that. Maps, horse pasture, mod, and whoops, the right button. Well, there we go. Modded, open, range, horses, i3D. Okay. And then don't forget, if you don't change these to a front slash, it won't work. So we need to go back and change all these. And that should be it. Okay. So we save this. Now what we need, one last thing, is we need a store item in here. And these are some store items that I already have in there. So what I'm going to do, is, and this is, this is the only line that you need. Again, store item. Notice that this just starts at the maps level as far as the directory structure. I'm going to copy this line. Paste it down here. Okay, change this. Whoops. Okay. Go back to our folder and notice we need, what we're looking for is the XML file. So if we go back to the folder, we can copy and paste it in there. We can put the stuff, you know, we can just type it in. We're under maps, placeables. What we need to do is change this to horse pasture mod. Okay. And then our XML file is this one right here. Modded open range horses. So it's modded. Open range horses, XML. Okay, we save that. All right. Make sure that all these are saved. Save, save, save. Save these things. Got to double check and make sure what I did uh, to go back and clean up the placeables XML. I just took out some spaces that were in between some of the text here. I just like to keep it all looking like this. So you know what to expect when you open the file. Okay. Spaces in there really don't matter. You can have them. It doesn't make any difference. It's still going to read it just fine. Okay. When what I'm talking about is spaces between the lines, not between the text. You need to make sure that all of this stuff is correct. All right. All that's saved. Everything's ready. See if it works. Okay, when I went to load this, I had an error message, and I believe what I've done is we do not need this portion of this in the file name. We just need to get rid of that. So our file name should just start with maps, placeables, horse pasture mod, i3d. It said it couldn't load it, and I had two instances of that Frog Creek map in there. So we're going to save this. And we'll see if it works again. Okay, we are back in the map. And as you can tell, it has been inserted in here like it's supposed to be. The white is showing just because we haven't turned the planes off yet. But we will go back in and do that. So if we take a walk over here, or a jog over here, we'll go to the hitching post. Okay, and if we hit the R button, you're going to see that nothing happens. And the reason that nothing happens is because in order for this to work, we have to purchase the land. 
So we will cheat in a little bit of, or cheat in a lot of money here. There we go. And remove that. And go to our farmland and buy the farmland. And now you notice our triggers show up for everything. We hit R. There's our animals. Okay. We will just grab some horses here. Right now it's set to 16. I may change that. Uh, to bump it up to like maybe 25 or 30 or something like that. Not get too carried away with it. Since it's quite a bit bigger pasture, we can put some more horses in here than that. So we're just going to buy the 16 that it allows us to get right now. We hit OK. And we go back and there's our horses. Notice some of them are above the plane. Some of them are below the plane here. And the reason for that is, is because, again doesn't matter where our planes are, uh, your navigation mesh, the horses are going to walk on the terrain itself. Okay? So that's why they're doing that. Let's uh, jump up in the air here and take a look and see if they're staying on the mesh. And so far... It appears there are. There's probably some underneath the plane over here on this side. It's a pretty steep hill over there. I don't see any wandering around the outside edges of it. So looks like we did good. And everything is staying inside the mesh. You notice the ones in the back are walking along the fence line. Got one over here walking along the fence line. So looks pretty good. So we can get out of our flight mode here. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add a fence to this. And then uh, this is the easy way to do it, really. And show you how you can get that fence into your save game. So we're just going to go into purchase a fence here. And our decoration and fences. We're going to do the white fence. Same thing we have on the other side. Um, I'm not overly concerned with where this goes right now, but we're going to we're going to have to make a couple of modifications to the terrain and fix that a little bit. That's not too bad right there. Bring it over here. I want to run it pretty straight and kind of parallel. There we go. Run it down the side. Now again, we just doesn't matter where we are on the outside. We want to be kind of along the tree line. I don't want it. I could have put it closer to the nav mesh. And we stick this one on here. That's not too bad there. We'll put this one across the back. Run it kind of straight here. We'll fix this corner. I hope this one thing that they change on the next version is so you're able to see a little bit more when we're doing things like this. Can't very well, can't see very far when you're trying to put things in here. All right, so we'll come down here, run this one. We want to run it. Well, that was completely by luck. That looks relatively parallel to that other fence up there. Good enough. That actually looks halfway decent. I know already we're going to have a problem putting a gate in here, simply because of the fact that there's such an angle with it going downhill like it is. I'm going to take these out, and we will put a gate right here. But I will tell you, it's probably not going to look very good. We'll see. We'll put that in there and we'll go back and add the fence in. I'm probably not doing this right, but it's the way I do it. So we'll get out of here and walk back up to the fence. And go back in here and delete this. 
Not that. I shouldn't have deleted the fence. Well, that wasn't very good. Let's try this again. There we go. That time it worked. Now, like I said, the gate has to be straight. I'll come back in here and do some editing, do some terrain editing, um, and then fix that. Okay, I'll go back into the Giants editor, flatten that out a little bit, and come back in and redo this a little bit later on. Okay, but this, again, this will just give you an idea of how you can do this. So there's our fence that's in there. Shut it. There we go. I'm going to have to redo this over here also. Um, I have permission from Papa Smurf to use this mod too. The thing is, and I've just stuck a gate in here for now. This is not finished by any means, but the mod does not have a gate in it. And I just stuck something in there to see what it would look like. I don't like the way it looks, but I'll go back a little bit later and fix that. Put a gate in here. This is uh, the horse barn too. But I'd also like to thank him for permission for allowing me to use that too. Okay, so now we have this. What we need to do is save this game. Okay, then we're going to get out of it. Quit here. We're going to go to the save game under my games and farming simulator 22. That's save game nine, I guess. Yeah, that's the one it is. And I'm going to come in here and grab the placeables XML file that's in here. This placeables XML file is the same one that we've been working on. So it has all of the same stuff in there. We're just going to copy this. This is the one from the save game. We're going to go back into our folder here. And go to Maps, Map US, paste the placeables in there. Now, the reason that we did that is because it has the placeables that we put in it originally, plus one more, which will be the fence. Okay. So we should be able to close this. And if we go to our game again, and we'll get in the game and see how it loads okay back in the game uh there's our fence there's the horses that were in there uh the reason that all this stuff the horses and everything in there is because they're also stored in the save game file so that's just that's one relatively simple way that you can get a fence in here um it's not the best way in the world to do it but it is one way that you can do it and uh, I just used the game fence in there. You can use any of the fences that are in the game to do it that way. We can sell the horses here. Uh, what I'm going to do to clean the map up is we're going to go back. I will go back and sell all the horses and kind of clean the fence up and then redo all of that stuff and save it and make sure that everything is nice and clean and neat. And then I'll take that placeables uh, XML file and copy it back in to the map and everything there won't be any horses in the map you'd have to purchase them okay so now what we'll do uh to finish up just take you back into giants editor one more time and get rid of the planes that are in there i hope you got something out of this again there's a lot of videos out there uh that deal with the same kind of thing like i said shy wizard does a really good job of it uh farmer bob has some videos uh, that will allow you to to learn how to do some of this stuff too. Okay, I hope you got something out of this. And again, thank you to the modders that allowed me to uh, mess around with their stuff and kind of screw it up a little bit. But hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thanks. <music>